the Earth's climate is undergoing change. It's a fact. We are beyond doubt or discussion. One major driver of the world's climate is changing faster than ever predicted. The snow, the ice, the ocean, the lands, rivers, glaciers, and atmosphere in the Arctic areas, in total, the Arctic cryosphere. The Arctic's climate has been relatively stable for the past five to 10,000 years. There are signs now that we're moving out of that range of stability. And we see that the sea level is rising more and more. There's a lot of people that are challenged by this sea level rise. We can mention the Pacific Islands, the uh, Netherlands, uh, Bangladesh. And uh, as the sea level will continue to rise, it will be a, a huge challenge to adapt to these changes. If you have increased warming, uh, that will then start to thaw the permafrost. And when you thaw the permafrost, the carbon will be released. Uh, it's released either as carbon dioxide or as methane. And methane is a much more powerful greenhouse gas compared to carbon dioxide. And because of that, we will have an amplified warming. This is just the beginning of the changes we expect to see. In the future, there's going to be even more dramatic changes, particularly outside of the Arctic. The Arctic is kind of the canary in a coal mine of the climate system. So the changes we see in the Arctic are the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. With the observations we have now, and taking into consideration the increased warming in the future, we can expect new scenarios in a series of fields. Increased warming over the Arctic, 3 to 7 degrees by year 2100, sea level rise somewhere from 90 centimetres up to 1.6 metres by 2100, loss of summer sea ice within 30 to 40 years, the risk of the Arctic becoming a substantial contributor to greenhouse gas balance, and more abrupt changes rather than smooth transitions. We, we more and more learn that uh, instead of gradual changes, we see extreme events that are incredibly important, uh, but we also see that some of the gradual changes are not gradual, they're happening much faster. In the Arctic, changes are occurring. By acting now, we can shape the course of the climate trajectory in middle latitudes and lower latitudes. So the, the opportunity is there to act now. The, win the window is open, but it's a window that's not going to be open forever. We, we do need to, to heed the warning in, 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 a, in a timely manner, and that timely manner is, uh, is fairly short. <laughs>